Good morning. I am totally a morning person, which makes it kind of funny that I have this, ah, I'm gonna cover up the sun with my head, <laughs> that I have this mug uh, by Grumpy that says, I hate mornings, because I totally don't hate mornings, but anyway. Um, and as you can tell, it's morning, the sun is rising behind me. I'm gonna keep my, uh, my head in this position so you guys don't get blinded by the beautiful Arizona sunshine. And I got up uh, super early this morning. I think a lot of times we do that as entrepreneurs. Um, even if you're not typically a morning person, it's like we can steal a couple hours from the day before all the craziness starts. So I got up at four this morning, cleared a few things off my schedule. I was super proud of myself because I did my journaling. I did my entire morning routine, which I've not been as good at lately. So I did my journaling. I in my morning routine is to journal, to exercise, to learn, and to meditate. And I did my meditation as well. I'm finding more and more that that is helping me so much. Just really get focused and clear about the things that I wanna do today. So on my list of things to do today are create some videos, learn more about running challenges so that's something in my in my journal I do a hundred day journal where I didn't identify specific goals and I'm going to run a challenge in this next hundred days I've never done that I've never actually been if I'm honest fully part of a challenge because I'll start them I'm all you know gung-ho and then I just kind of fade away either the exercises don't resonate with me or I just decide I kind of don't want to do it anymore uh, I'm in one right now that's really good by Lisa Johnson. It's called, what's it called? Recurring, the Recurring Revenue Challenge, I think. Um, Google it if you haven't done it before. It's, it's a really good one. I'm on day three and I'm actually sticking with it. This one's a four day challenge and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm actually gonna complete it. And running a, a challenge is one way that I'm working on growing my audience. So that's really what is on my mind for today. I'm also doing some webinars, so I'll be posting on social media about that. And I'm reading uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's book, Crushing It. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos. And it's really, I will say, it's really hard not to get overwhelmed by everything that I have to learn, but I know that I will do it. It's step by step. Um, just a section on YouTube, I got a little breathless, you know, listening to make sure you do this and you do this and you do that. I, I am listening to it on audio and I think I probably need to get that one in hard copy so that I can, you know, flip to that page and highlight those things that, that I know that I need to, to do or just remember to do. I think that's what's funny about, you know, this whole entrepreneurial life, right? Is it's not that anything is terribly hard because it's not, it's, it's all pretty easy. With all the tools and resources that we have out there, anybody can start a business. It's more about remembering everything, every little detail, everything that I, I want to do. So I, even though I have electronic means for planning and calendaring. I'm a big fan of paper calendaring and journaling. And so I have this journal and it's a, every 100 days I started over again. I've got my goals, I've got my action steps every day in it. And the other day I was flipping back through some of my old journals. I'm like, oh, holy cow, I did that for a while, but I haven't been doing it and I need to get back on it. So I don't think that it's so much that it's hard. It is just, a, knowing what to do, and then B, remembering to do it, because there's so much. And then if you are starting a, whether you're in your business full time, or you're, you know, like trying to find time to start a side hustle, it's really getting deliberate about your time and focusing on what are you gonna do. So I have a couple of consulting clients. Today's a big busy day for me with my consulting clients. Uh, and if I didn't get up at four, I wouldn't have any time at all to work on my business, doing these videos, doing my journaling, going through my morning routine, posting on social media, all of that stuff. I, I would have time at night, but I will tell you by the time I get to this evening and I'm having a glass of wine, uh, yeah, the motivation's gonna go out the window. So anyway, mornings, uh, work for me. I actually do not hate mornings. <laughs> and I think if you're not a morning person and you are a night owl, then carve out that time at night to either build your business or start your business. You'll be so glad you did.
You guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will be back on here tomorrow. An another thing that's helping me is every day I actually get dressed now. We're, <laughs> we're in quarantine and in all honesty, there was a couple of days where like, I don't even think I brushed my hair and certainly didn't put on makeup. And I stayed in my pajamas all day and then like went from my, I slept in them last night to I'm sleeping in them tonight. That's a, such a bad thing to do. Uh, mostly because you just bring a different energy than when you get up, you get ready, and you're like ready to start today. So thank you guys for helping me get up and get dressed in the morning. Hope you have a, a wonderful day, and I'd love to hear in the comments how you carve out time to either work on your business by doing those things that we know we need to get done, or how you're going to carve out time so that you can start your side hustle. Have a great day.